The road to Sud Bowl 10 has its last stop right here. You didn't have to move, you know where that hit? Your arm was right here and it goes right there. <laughs> as uh, I'm currently become target practice early on. Here we go. It is the Ducks at 4 2 and 1. The Funkmasters at 3 2 and 2. The 2 and 3 seeds in the upper division. This is a final four game. And surprise, surprise, it is not the Puck Buddies awaiting in the finals, but the NWO with a 4 3 win earlier, aided by three power play goals. We'll have other updates as the season, as the game goes on. Now, Honey playing this one up around Mara to Luke. Just trying to cut it in, can't do so. This one goes all the way to the back. Played up by Nathan. Intercepted by Luke. He's going to shoot. That goes wide. It is Sean trying to play it up, but it's intercepted by Chris Barron. Now it is Zach letting this one go through. Jordan with an early save and a faceoff. In other upper division action, this is the final upper division game. We know the two teams going down, and get this, it is Snake Eyes and Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai did not bring practically anyone. They wound up getting blitzed by the Chiefs 12 to 1. As a result, this shot is going to go wide. I guess counted as a save by Jordan. Nathan bringing this one up. Meanwhile, Blood Red shocks the world. No icing on this play. Picks up a 2 1 win over the Snake Eyes. So the 5 and 6 are going down. Here's a shot by Keith. That is saved. Shots 2 1 now. Sean trying to play this up. Nothing there. Now Kathleen runs into trouble. Keith trying to keep it in without his stick. Able to do so, but not for long as it is cleared by Zach. Now, long shot, that's saved by Baron. Baron with the save, now Jordan plays it up. Rob Riker now, trying to get around Zach. Can't do so. Early advantage to the Ducks, but no score. Now shots 3-2 as a shot by Sean. Rob looking up. One, Nick try, uh, Neil tries to play it in, can't do so. Kathleen looking up for Luke, who gets through Jessica. He's being looked at by two players now. Long shot, that is going wide. Farron, up top to Zach. And another save by Jordan, shots 4-2. As we get ready, Jessica, Caroline, Neil, Rob, Keith on the floor for the Funks. It is Renee, Josh, Chris Callender, Lays, and Tracy for the Ducks. Oh, leans in too soon. They're going to let him take the face off and keep it. There's a big shot. That one is blocked by Caroline, though, into the corner. Brought up the side, Josh trying to get to it, can't do it. Now Rob gets around Tracy, does he get any help? No, Josh is able to keep this one going in. Everybody's got to retreat now. They do so, and now the Funks have the zone, but nobody's there, Josh gonna play this one up and around. Up to Blaze, he's gonna fire long looking for Claire, intercepted by Caroline. Everyone's back, the Funks are legal. Long shot, intercepted by Blaze again. Over everyone's head, controlled by Nick Moser. Up to Keith, he's clear, he shoots, saved by Sampson. Intercepted by Riker. Oh, Tracy Bannister trying to hold on to it, can do so. Now Brooks looking for Callender, this one's gonna be icing it. No, it's not. Nick Moser now controls in the corner. Callender bringing it around, that shot is stuffed. Shots are 5-3 now, follow through as a goal. That ball had um, that ball had drink service on it. It was so far in the air. Josh just waited for it to fall. He gets the credit for the goal. Chris Callender the assist. And it is 1-0 to the Ducks. A big pop up winds up going in. Shot 6-3 at this point. That way you give everybody. Yep. Step forward to the black. Got it. Uh, just trying to get me in position here. Now Keith, across the line. He's got a chance. He'll fire. That's safe by Samson and he'll hold on. Know who you guys have. Shot 6 4. This is a very active first period. Now Kathleen's on the wrong side. She has to get pulled back. Does so. 
He wins the face off, looking for, uh, looks like he's looking for Sean. Sean barely keeps it in, but Luke is able to clear it out. Long play, that required a play from Jordan. Not quite on target. Shots remain 6-4. Now Nathan slowly walking this one up. He's got time. Goes through everybody. Lay is able to intercept it. He'll bring it up the other way. Knocked away. And Sean gets this up. Now Luke up the side. Gets it away. That He was onside. That is no icing. Nathan now looking. He's going to play cross court to Keith. But Honey with the interception. Everybody's offside and they're going to get called for it. Shots remain 6-4 Ducks. Josh Brooks the only goal. And with the upset in the other semifinal, this one looms big. In a game you can see elsewhere, two jacks, no coke. Got the win over the Babylon Warriors, 7-3. So barring something crazy, they will promote. Is Luke on side? No, no he is not. The five minute majors and the scabs have yet to play. So there could still be a bit of an upset there. Meanwhile, in the relegation uh, bracket, in the relegation bracket, it was the Street Sharks destroying L2T 10 to two, the Untouchables over the Scorpions 3-0. There's the face off. Played up the side, played back now. Tracy trying to control the zone. Gets through everybody. This one controlled by Lewis Chatan. He'll look up the side. Gets away from everybody. Is this going to be icing? No, it's not. Now it's played around to Tracy. Kept in by Jessica. Now Rob looking to the middle. Who's he got? Nobody. Blaze with the steal. And this one comes out. Calendar cuts inside. He's got a chance. Is he going to be able to launch it? Saved by Jordan. Shot 7-4 now. With 8.14 left in the first period. Josh's tally, the one that counts. Chris Callender, Keith Ingram to take the face off. This one is one back. Long shot, that's saved. 8-4 in shots. Jordan's gonna have to be doing something crazy here. The Ducks are a high octane team. And with a lead, they look for the kill. They do not sit on leads. Face off once again. This one gets loose. It's going to be cleared by Bodkin. Tracy Bannister is out. Comes over this way. Caroline Doolin up to Keith Ingram. Attempt by Sean Bodkin to get into the zone. Can't do it. Just too many ducks back. Push it, push it, push it. Brooks. Can't get it to anybody. Almost cleared by Nerod. But it's Callender with a shot. That's save too. Shots 9-4. We're not even, we're only halfway through the first. This one is cleared and out of the zone. Nathan gonna bring it forward. I don't think he realizes, nope, he, he does not. So that's offside to the Funks. Yeah, he'll learn the rules. I just want to make sure they have a line because trust me, they're going to get hit. How was I on that last one, by the way? Was that good? All right. I just don't want you getting hit because they will throw you in a fire right mm -hmm. off these boards right behind your butt. Yeah, everybody's a director here, folks. <laughs> so we're just trying to make sure that the camera's in the right place. Calendar not cutting inside. Everybody dancing, dancing on the line. Now Duel in the interception. Going to pass it. Looking for Ingram. Can't get it there. Tries again through Jurgen's legs. Our third line Duel has a little bit of help. Up the middle, gets away from Neil Mose, gets away from everybody. Is that in? No, no, it doesn't matter. Now Keith Ingram with the steal. Trying to get around, Kathleen could not do so. Taylor, looking, looking. Oh, we got somebody floating in, that's gonna cause trouble. Blaze able to clear this one up to Luke. Here comes the play, the shot is blocked. Coming around to where we are. And now Taylor with it again. Are they off? No, they're good. They were out playing this one around. This one through every. No, it's not through everybody. They're going to try again. Taylor being guarded by Shatan. Nayrod with the clear. Lays has it. Up to Taylor. Intercepted again by Neil Moser. He's got Riker. No, can't quite make the connection. 
Flung down again. Barron tries to intercept. Oh, he's able to gain the zone. Can he take a shot now? He fires. Wide. Taylor, off to Jurgen. The shot. Intercepted by Riker. It's going to go the other way. Unless somebody can race this down. It's icing. And they won't be able to do it. 5.15 left in the first period now. And you got the feeling one goal's not going to win this game. But the way things stand now, the Ducks have that lead and they have been the attacking team. Funkmasters trying to weather the storm. 9 4 in shots. Oh, fake draw. Counter allowed to stay in. This one cleared by Duquette. And again, this one is out. So that shot's not, that goal will not count. That goal will not count. The ball came out. Neither shot counts. The goal doesn't count. And this one's going to come out of the zone. And they're going to send it all the way back. So with four minutes and 20 seconds, now the Funks have the offensive zone. Ingram, Doolin, Duquette, Bodkin. On the other side, Barron, Bannister, Gill, Calendar. Lots of stars in this game. There's a shot to Forrest, can't get away. And it's clear. Suddenly, Calendar on the counterattack. What's he going to do? Can he get around the defender? Tries a second time. Oh, he's got electric legs through the middle. And this one pops into Jordan's glove. Jordan Loftus, Sean Sampson, your goalies have been doing a very good job so far today. Everybody's playing at a high level. It will be Ingram and Calendar again to take the face off. This one's one back. Big shot, big save. Shots 10 4. And oh, straight to Barron. He's going to try. No, it's intercepted by Botkin. He's going to lift this one over. Can he race it down? Yes, he will, but Blaze is there first. And they can't keep it in. They run to Ingram, coming around this way. Ingram's waiting. He's got the zone. He's got legal offside. That shot is wide, though. And Blaze able to throw this one over everybody. Will that be icing? No, it will not. I don't think they realize that Barron now charging in. He's going to get to the ball first. Wow. Big turn of events for the Ducks there. Ingram. Uh, somebody's going to get called for a penalty here. The only question is which one. And it looks like it will be on the Funks. So the Ducks now have all day. They have the extra attacker. And Jordan will get the call. But... I'm not quite sure what happened here. They're talking this one over. I, 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 you kind of have to call a foul on someone. The only question is which one? Well, they're going to call them both. So Calendar and Ingram both off. Both are being called for two minutes. For uh, interference, basically, you run So it should be four on four. Five on five. Five on five. Yeah, five on five. The players will be replaced. Keith Ingram and Chris Callender essentially interfering with each other. I think the ruling there is that Callender tried to block off Ingram and then Ingram decided he was going to horse collar him and uh, that, that just sort of washes out. This one played in. Is Taylor on side? Doesn't matter. Going the other way. Riker got the touch on it. No icing. In the middle. Cleared away. Brooks now up the sideline. Taylor has the other way. Trying to get around Shatan, cannot do so. Tries again. Looking for Renee Gale, can't get there. Now Bodkin, one man to beat. Shot, saved by Sampson. Rebound is saved. Rebound is saved again, that's three in a row. 10-7 in shots now. We have a minute 10 left in the period. Oh my. This has gotten interesting, folks. The Funks with a sign of life. This one is out. Oh, Doolin didn't touch it. That means it's a live ball. Now they're allowed to charge in. They've cleared the zone. Kathleen bringing this one up slowly. Swings and misses on her first try to clear. Second try, Riker blocks it. Now Blaze has to come over and help, does so. But not enough. Barron looking, 
Intercepted by Bodkin. Out of control now. Jorgen has it up the side. Herod keeps it in. And it's, 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 it's out of the zone, but what's the answer here? Who's got it? Finally sent back in by Bodkin. 20 seconds left. They're in an exciting first period. Up the sideline, Josh Brooks now, the only goal in the first period. He's gonna fling this as far as he can go. Barron's not gonna get there in time. And we will end this first period on an icing call. Shots 10-7 to the Ducks. Josh, the only goal. And after the first period, 1-0 to the Ducks. All right, we're back with our commissioner right now, uh, who is uh, as baffled as anyone else. So far, the upper division has not produced a uh, game that wasn't an upset. And as a result, you got the five and six place teams going down. You got uh, the NWO waiting for the champion here. Uh, how do you feel about this? Parity, one word parity. Compared to division out there, so every game matters. All right, meanwhile, it looks like the Jacks are going up. Uh, if the Majors win, they're going to join them. Uh, do you think those teams can be competitive in the top division? The way the Jacks are playing right now, absolutely. Uh, they remind me a little bit of, of NWO, full team. Good to go. Yes, good to go. And as far as the Majors go, do you think they'll be good? They only won one game between two, so they got good defense. If you have defense, they're going to be okay in this league all the time. All right, that's uh, Commissioner Suds talking it over. Shots were 10-7 in that period. Both teams getting ready. And we are about to start. So set the clock and let's get rolling. Set the clock and let's get rolling. There's the face off. And the clock is ready, we're ready, let's go. Ducks gain the zone. A uh, bit of a fight along the corner. Ingram and Callender at it again. And it's recovered by Kathleen McCallender. He'll shoot, save! First shot, a good save by Jordan Loftus. Up the side. Now, Callender trying to hang on to it. He's got Neil Moser and Louis Chatan in the corner. And play! This one knocked away by Neil. He's going to look for someone. It's to Caroline. That's going to be icing. That's a good shift. And we'll bring it back here. First shot of the second period to the Ducks was saved. They're going to need more of that. They need to, right now at 1-0. One 1-0, nothing. One nothing, I don't think it's going to be the final score here. The way these two teams are firing away. And Keith Ingram wins the face off by Josh from Josh Brooks. It's kept in. Get hockey. Kept in by Blaze. Now, Duquette and Gill fighting. Taken away by Shatan. Intercepted by Barron. He's looking. Brooks. Post. And Josh nearly had a second. This one hit the high post. Now Doolin keeps it in. Neil Moser with a shot. That's saved. Saves one apiece. Uh, you can't count that as a shot, really, because it still would have hit the post even if the goalie wasn't there. So one apiece in shots in this period. And they've been good ones. Teams are ready to line up. It looks like it'll be Rob Riker and Josh Brooks to take the face off. This one cleared by Brooks. Can he get out of the zone? He does. And now Taylor the other way. No penalty. He keeps fighting. Coming around the zone. Has a chance. Who's he looking for? In the middle. Nobody there. This one's going to come right back out. Tracy Bannister looking. Tries to throw it back into Brooks. Taylor has it. He'll shoot. That's a pop-up controlled by Bodkin. Up to Duquette. Duquette looking for Riker. He'll fire up the middle. And it's tipped wide, but Riker is there first. Into the center. Nobody there. No, it's kept in by Bodkin. Bannister able to clear. Narod cannot keep it in. Nathan looking, looking, looking. He's got it. Two players charging in, but it is Zach there first. This one's going to go the other way for icing. So it looks like their strategy worked a little bit. They were able to fluster the duck defense. Um, Mars Brother. Nathan. Nathan. So we've been told it's Nathan Duquette, brother of Mara. So a bit of a family affair for the Funks. Can they make something of it? Riker and Taylor to take the face off. Whoa, whoa. 
This one is cleared violently out of the zone and will not be icing. Be smart! Be smart! is there first. Around Taylor, up the side. Oh, it's kept in. Kathleen gets it in. Taylor with a shot that same. Another try, nothing there. Shots 2 1 in the period now. Nice clear up the zone. Can't be kept in. This is through everybody. No icing as a result. And Zach can't control it. Riker has it. He's looking for someone. We got a glove down on the floor. I don't think anyone sees it. Shot by Shatan is wide. Up the side. This one will be cleared by Kathleen. Up to Chris Callender. He's got a chance the other way. Set, shoot, scores. Kathleen with the assist, Chris with the goal. It is 2 0 now. Tracy, come back on. It is. Plums are going to have to find something here. Shots 3 1 in the period. Tie up on the faceoff. Barron up the side. Can't keep it. Other way, Doolin trying, intercepted by Zach. He'll try, he finds Calendar, wind up, shot, save. Shots 4-1 in this period. This could get a little ugly. We're at a pivotal point in the game. Next goal is big. Yeah, it's too nothing. As uh, we're waiting for the, there the scoreboard has changed, it is 2-0. Ingram now trying to get around Bannister, and can't keep it in, controls. Gill trying to hold it off. A little help for Bodkin, can't get there. Now Nathan Duquette with the ball. He's gonna look. Needs some help, cuts inside, waits, nothing there. Bodkin keeps it alive, backhand save. Gonna try again, to the front, shot, saved again. Shots 4-3, oh, Bodkin keeps it in, he'll launch it forward, it's intercepted, and Barron has it, can he clear it? Uh, he's gonna be able to clear it without any trouble now. Takes it across, oh, it's intercepted. Back the other way we go. Trying to get around Zach, able to do so. Barron keeps this one out. Now he and Calendar just kind of a miscommunication here. Well, we got a high stick here, that's gotta be called, it will be. And what? Now this is bizarre here. Now, we had a stick that was clearly over everybody's head, and instead the call is going to be against the Funks. This is not a good call. This is downright bizarre. This one is knocked away. Can't clear the zone yet. And that one goes wide. And another shot, that is saved on this gift of a power play, really. Cleared by Mara Duquette. Blocked from going in. Shot's now 5-1. Now Keith clears the zone. He's gonna go in shorthanded. Can he get around Tracy? He does. Going for the backhand. No, no, can't quite get around all the way. But they have the zone now. One in the corner, Doolin can't get it, can't get it away. And back the other way, Calendar all alone. Oh, intercepted to Barron, he'll fire wide. Now Barron tries again, nothing there. You got Blake, Blake, whatever his name. Tries again, now Duquette knocks it all. It's only as far as that, that shot is not gonna get through either. Calendar with a stick lift. Fire save, rebound wide. Shot 6 1. Gonna try again. That knocked away by Jordan. Tracy will follow in. Intercepted by Keith. He's got one man to beat. Keith going on alone. He'll fire. It's intercepted. Counter attack coming. Is he onside? Yeah, he got the foot back. Coming in. Big shoots. And there's the power play gift. And if that goal winds up being the difference, there's going to be a lot to answer for here. And 
And now the Funk Masters call their timeout. And we'll take it with them. I never thought we'd All right. Timeout has been called. It is 3 0. Shots now 7 1 in this period. Through the middle, nothing there. Taylor has an intercept by Nathan Duquette. He's looking for room, can't find any, gonna try again. Up the wall, has a, has a play, gonna take it himself, passes off to Riker, shot, saved. Now it fires in again, that one is saved. Swapped down by Blaze. Now it's Taylor coming in, has intercepted. Now sent the other way, and he has this one right in front of us. Two shots by Taylor, they're both saved. Shots now 9-2 in this period. Or 9-3, excuse me, that one gets through everybody. 10-3 now, and uh, frustration starting to set in, definitely. And now it'll be Ingram and Calder to take this face off. This one played back to Blaze. Ingram trying to keep it up. Brooks has it. Ingram trying to play the game. This one up to Blaze again. Now it's Neil up to Keith. That shot is wide. Duel has locked by Blaze. Gonna try again. That one through Moser. Can't quite get there. Now Ingram to shoot. That goes away. And this will be icing. And we will bring it back. And now, once again, Ingram and Calder to tie this up. Played back to Blaze. He's going to launch this one up. Controlled by Gill. No, knocked down by Botkin. He'll shoot. That's a tipped away. Narod has it through the middle, through everybody. Finally, it looks like, yep, Renee Gill able to keep this one down. Up the side, it's Blaze. He's to Calendar. Calendar looking for the hat trick. Passes to Barron. That shot is blocked. Follow through is saved. Ball is loose. He's going to fall on it. 11 3 in shots here. This is crazy right now. The Ducks have just taken over this second period. They've gotten a lot of luck and a lot of skill. There's a shot by Barron. That's saved. Block the board. Back the other way, pressed against the board. Calder will fire for the hat trick. It's all about who you got out there. And you're looking at a star right here. Once again, unassisted, he's got the hat trick. It is 4-0. Shots 13-3 in this period. Yikes. That way they can come off that war wall up. All right. Face off. This one goes into the rafters. And we're going to do it again. At this point, you got to think that might be a stall tactic. <laughs> but that's something that's a, that would require outrageous skill to do it again and again. This one gets away. Nathan Duquette now. Up the sideboard. Looking. Back the other way, he's going to cut. Gets it through to Sean Bodkin. Into the center. Caught by Samson for a save. Shots 13 to 4. He's got a chance. Who's in front? Ball is loose. Cleared away. Taylor can't keep it in. Fired by Riker. Can't find Bodkin. Doolin trying. Cleared by Bannister. Not enough. Bodkin able to make the roll around. And now it's cleared again. This will be icing. No, it won't. 
Barron is racing to it. He's going to make sure it isn't. And this one will be falling on by Loftus. We are under a minute now. Shots 13 to 4 in this period. The Ducks attacking in waves, doing everything right here. Up the side, nothing there. Barron, looking, looking. Who's he got? Who does he have? He doesn't even know. Now up the way, Nathan Duquette. He's on side, taken away by Bannister. Gonna try again in the middle. There's Ingra. Oh no, it's knocked away by by Blaze. Wow, look at that rotation of the Ducks defense. Now Ingram looking, looking. Into the center, nobody there. And this will end the second period. A uh, dominant second period for the Ducks. Shots 13 to 4. We'll have one more period with the uh, Ducks up 4 0 right now. All right, here we go, third period coming up. Shots in the, so far 23 to 11 in favor of the Ducks. It's not the lane, right here is not the lane. As it is going to be Bodkin lofting this one. That is saved. Follow through, this one drops to your chin. And they're back one in it. Mara Duquette from Sean Bodkin. And Rob Wright gets the other one. Hold the phone, it's 4-1. Two quick shots for the Funks. They get the goal. Now is it a consolation goal? I think Chris Callender wants to make sure it is. He's cutting in, he's passing to the center, nobody's there. Riker kept in by Jurgen. Back the other way. Who's got it? Calendar does. Up to Brooks. He'll fire. Nobody home. Into the center. Jurgen tries again. This one cuts through everybody. Calendar has it. He'll loft it. He misses. Brooks fires. Short. Straight to Calendar. This one will land in Loftus' lap. Shots 2 1 Funks. Suddenly, a question has to be asked. But that's still a long mountain to climb if you are the Funk Masters. Another face off battle. This one on my counter. Brooks will fire. Oh, it gets through everybody. Now Renee Gill looking up the side. Who's she have? Trying to get through everybody. Carolyn cuts off from Blaze, who throws it back in. Pass, save! Chris with a backhand pass to Josh Brooks, who was looking for a second, but Jordan keeps this a game. Now Josh, through the middle, everybody misses. Around the side. Calendar looking for Brooks again, stuffed by Ingram, enough for a save by Jordan Loftus. Time is quickly ticking away here. Face off again, again one by the Ducks. But this one gets out of the zone. They have to clean out. Do they? Looks like they did. Nope, nope, no they didn't. And it was near side that was off, not Chris Callender who was uh, in the area. He, he, he was able to get back, but there was somebody near side off camera view that was off. Now Ingram. He'll fight. No, has it blocked. It's going to roll into the corner. Keith has it, he's looking. Luke, back the other way. He's got a, he's got a teammate. This one is stuffed. Ingram now, can he leave the counter? Up to Neil Moser. Oh, it's off a referee's skate. Well, you don't like seeing the referees get involved that way. Can't kick this one away. Nathan, can't, nope, Mara now able to clear it. This one in the zone, they're onside. 
Up the corner. Up to Callender, who's got a chance. Tipped away. And he falls down. They're going to say no call on that one. Now cutting inside. That shot does not get through. And will try again, Riker to Moser. They're not out of the zone yet. Now they are. And Blaze doesn't know it. He's going to get called. We got a bit of a tie up there. We'll let this one go. Marty Cut knocks this into the zone. And, and they're going to say that was. Wait a minute. What's call? What's call, Luke? Yeah. Too much on the face off. It was roughing. They're going to say on the tie up, Luke Taylor did too much. He's going off for roughing. Golden opportunity coming up. If they hope to get back into this, this is their chance. Ingram, Mardiquette, Shatan, Bobkin, Nayrod. They're going to take the face off along with Barron. Played back to Bobkin. He'll fire. Oh, it gets tipped on the way in. Clear up the side. Shatan keeps it in. He'll fire. That's wide. Ingram is there. Which way is he going to go? He's going to go. Looks like he's going to go left. Can't quite get there. Blaze is allowed to ice this one and does so. Shatan trying to bring this one up. Now walks it up. This one gets over the zone. Duquette able to throw this one on. Like almost casual save there. Shots three, two funks, and it's cleared again. Baron on the counter. And remember, they're short-handed. So no icing there. Barron plays it legally. That's what I said. Everyone's a critic here. Now Keith trying to bring this one up. Jessica has it up to Sean. Time running low on the penalty. Here's a shot. Doesn't get through. Second attempt. Bit of contact. Into the front. Nothing there. Follow shot saved. Follow shot saved again. And the net went flying, nobody noticed. And a follow through and it's in. And we have a game again. Keith Ingram, power play goal. Boy, look at Sean, he's fired up. It is 4-2. Both teams are fired up. This is insanity here. This game is not over. This would be something else. Shots now, 5-3 Funk in this period. Calendar pulls it back. Now plays up the side. Tries to throw it up there, will this be icing? Yes it will, and that's another power play. Oh, and Blaze is going to have to go off. Uh, Calendar couldn't quite get to it. That wound up being the difference. Uh, Might have been a... I'm not entirely sure about that one, but uh, I've been wrong about a lot today, apparently. I see. Oh, yeah. And now, another power play for the Funks. Look out, folks. 4-2 the score. Ingram and Calder to take the face off again. And again, Calder steps in too soon, and it works. He wins the faceoff. I'm surprised they haven't booted him from the circle once. Now Sean Botkin's going to bring this one all the way back. Looking, looking. That shot is saved. Shot's now 6-3. Up the side, Bannister intercepted by Botkin. Up to Ingram at the point. That's a shot. It's wide. Nathan Duquette now. He's got Nayrod. Will he look? No, he'll go spin inside. Look at the front. Dillard has it. No. And this one is out. But Ingram controls. Not far enough. And this one gets thrown all the way. Loftus has to make the save. Nayrod to bring this one up. This is a critical kill for the Ducks. They are not out of the woods yet. 
Counting on Moser. Fires. That's saved. Shot 7-4 in this period. He looks for Dillon up front, swings and misses. Ingram has it. He'll fire. Is it it? No, it's wide. Moser to the front. It's loose. I think that would have been on the in off a of foot. I'm not sure what it counted. Get a chance. Get tired, guys. But man, oh man. Time is short here. About 30 seconds left in this power play. Callender and Riker to take the face off. And I don't think he let it drop. They're going to let him get away with that too. And yeah, that's offside, but. Well, I got a question on that one. That that ball never dropped. He was allowed to clear it. You got to, the refs have to be able to watch for that too. Andy, he can take it off the face off. As soon as that drop, the ball comes out of my hand, that ball hit the ground, he took off. It never hit the ground. Yeah. Now that one hits the ground. And we have the penalty expired now. Duquette up the side. Now Riker has it. Looking to the middle. Nobody there. Bannister with the cutout. Shot 7 4 in the period. 27 18 in the game. Gets away. Now Barron lifts this up to Callender. He's looking for number four. Passes to the middle. And uh, that's got to be something, isn't it? No. I, I, I don't understand anymore. Yeah, the, the question is, he's in the defensive zone and he literally falls on it. And I don't understand that either. I don't. We have a save in the meantime. This one would be icing, but nope, Blaze is going to play it forward. Now that's going to be icing the other way. Yes. So maybe Chris should have touched it. So to recap, in the last minute, we've had a faceoff that didn't touch the ground. We've had somebody fall on the ball in the defensive zone, and we've let it all go. Must be the playoffs. Funk power play now. What's going to happen? Shot. That's blocked. I guess Zach and not Blaze is the power play because there's Blaze out there. Bodkin can't get it through. And Zach's going to lock this one the other way. Now Ingram walking this one up. we got about three minutes left. This is the moment of truth. And Brooks with a steal. He's going for the dagger. Knocked away. Brooks looking, looking. Uh, he's just going to kill clock now. No, he loses to Ingram. Last guy on earth you want to have the ball. Moving in, that shot is saved, and it's cleared away. 8-4 in shots. One minute left in the power play. He's looking. Can't quite get it to Keith Ingram. Going to try again. He fires. Saved. Trying again. That shot. It's in. Look out there. We've got a game. That was Nathan Duquette with a goal. Keith Ingram, the assist. Can you believe it? It's 4-3. Wow. Power play goal. Another power play goal. The Ducks, uh, they're in a little bit of trouble here now, but now the icing counts. But when we get to one minute, we're going to ask the timekeeper to be ready for this one. Two minutes, 15 now. Face off in the middle. And that one is won by the Ducks, but not for much. Up the side, Botkin has He's going to play it in the zone. There's no icing on that one. Bannister looking. Playing up to Blaze. He's going to take it the whole way. No, intercepted by Nathan McKett. He's going the other way. He's got the zone. Could it be? Nathan looking. This one gets all tangled up. Anything? No. Now we have something. Which way? This is huge. Oh, everybody's off. And no, you don't stop it until there's one minute left. You can't stop it yet. I got it. 136. One for rough, one for interference. Both off. Let's go. Can we ask the guy who was in the corner? Let's go. One for rough, one for interference. Who's got, who, who had it? Who had Nathan? Yeah. And Chris. And 
man. Nathan and Chris both off one for one thing, one for the other. I don't even know anymore. It's 4-3 now. As soon as the, uh, we are five on five for the rest of regulation, it looks like. There's the face off, one by Taylor. He's gonna try his best chicane up the corner, gets away from everybody. Oh, and Blaze able to knock this one out. Mars offside, that sort of shuts things down. Now, Baron again, and again. He's got a chance up to Taylor. Taylor has a chance. Now what's gonna happen? We got him. Uh, we got, we got a dead clock is what we got. Now we're asking what's going on here. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> is just unbelievable. All right, we're going to say 107 now, it looks like. There we go, Baron and Ingram now. Everybody in the box. Baron plays this forward. He can do that. Riker up the sideline. One by Duquette. Ball gets away. Away twice. Back the other way. We have a minute to go. Time to change this, the style of play here. Shots 10 to 4 here in this period. Even if they ice the puck, it wouldn't do any good. Down air on. Brooks the other way. He's going to throw it down. Barron is there. Cut back to Brooks. Save, big save. Time's running out here. Gill back in, they run the other way. Ingram has it. This will be icing. And the clock stops. With 24 seconds left. A furious comeback, but will it be short? It looks that way right now. We have had some bizarre calls here. We've had some bizarre plays here. We, uh, this has been a wild game. What a finish we have in front of us. Funk's almost like they're in a track formation here. They're ready to sprint forward. This one played in. It's one by Barron. That's huge. To cut up the sideline. Taylor has it. No. He's going to bring it back in. Time running out. Stick lift. Got to wait. Up the side it goes. 10 seconds now. Collision. What's going to happen? Bannister clears it. That's going to be enough. And after all this, it's going to be the Ducks in the final. But wait, wait, hold it. Oh, I don't know about this because Luke Taylor was the one who got the penalty. Why is he out there? That means we're going to have to put some time back on. This game's not over. And it's going to be a penalty shot. Oh my goodness. Uh, Luke knew he had the, he, the penalty was on him. He came out. We're in the last minute. It's going to be a penalty shot to tie the game. Are you kidding me? What else can happen today? Now, Keith Ingram, Sean Sampson. The biggest shot of the game. Here we go. How's this going to end? Have the Ducks dodged the bullet? Are the Funks going to complete a comeback for the ages? Uh, and by doing so, they don't go to overtime. The clock has been set to 6.6, .6, according to our officials. Here we go. Keith coming in. Goes wide. Wide! Not wide. No, this game's not over. Look at the clock. Look at the clock, people. This game is not over. Now what? Now we got to continue. Five seconds left. Five seconds to kill. So let's see here. Luke's out, Chris is out, Sean is out, Lewis is out. And now, what, now what's going to happen? Chris Calder's moving right. Chris is back. 
No, Chris and Sean are back in. They can continue. Chris and Nathan are back in. I mean Nathan, not Sean, but I think this is... So Lewis and Luke are out. Look at this clock right here. This is this is where we stand. 6.6. 6. 4 3. Uh, what th this is a I don't know what the heck's happening here. And yeah, the faceoff's gonna be in the in the defensive zone. My goodness. Shots remain 10-5 at this point. I don't know what the ruling here is, but we got six seconds left to figure this one out. And we still, we're gonna have to take a break, folks. We'll be right back. So after all the confusion, it's from center. The Funks have pulled their goalie. They've got Mara, Nathan, Sean, Rob, Jess, and Sh Mara, Nathan, Sean, Rob, Jess, and one other. And it's a swing and a miss. Nathan up the side, time running out. Fired by Sean wide, and now the Ducks have won. Unbelievable finish. Just when you think you've seen everything, this happens. A furious comeback falls short. Nobody's going to be happy losing this one, but it'll be the Ducks against the NWO in Sud Bowl 10. We'll be back after this as soon as we figure out what the hell happened. <laughs> well, let's see here. We had a bunch of penalties. We had a 4 nothing lead almost blown. We had a penalty shot miss with about 10 seconds left. Yep, sounds like a typical playoff game. Yes, it does. I I'm here with Josh Brooks, uh, who got the opening goal head and assist. Uh, Josh, <laughs> is your heart back to normal? Are you, are you okay? I feel good. I've been sick all week, so it was good to just come out here and uh, sweat some toxins out. So I uh, finally scored an actual goal because that first game that I scored a couple goals didn't count. It was just the season opener. Uh, this, uh, so, uh, so we had a we had a wild finish. I mean, did you know what was going on in the last few seconds? I had no clue. I thought Suds, Suds might have been googling a penalty shot out of there somewhere because I never heard of that rule before. It's funny just to you know figure out some weird penalties come out of weird situations sometimes. So. All right, well this is it. It's going to be Sud Bowl 10. You guys are playing for your first Division One championship. The NWO stands away. We saw last week you two had a barn burner, a one-one tie. Yeah. There's going to be no tie next week. Uh, how do you what do you think your strategy is going for? Forward. I think it'll be just to uh, get them in front of Roderick and keep forcing them and uh, keep our just uh, keep passing and shooting like we do, playing well as a team, and we should be good to go. Well, Josh, I know I stopped you from heading out for the bar for his old celebration. <laughs> Don't let me keep you any longer. Congratulations. Uh, we'll you see you in much. the finals. All right, we'll see you. Thanks, buddy. Good job.